this the end of witnesses? So now we get to the part of the call in where the secretary has an opportunity to sum up. And again, it's, it's a five minutes since Stuart. <laughs> Um, a heck of a lot of, of ground uh, interesting ground uh, I don't think for one minute I'm in there and what's, uh, what's been said by the uh, government and, and the council uh, and the officers as to the success of both of these uh, schemes and, 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 and I think uh, Councillor Jones made an interesting point about this being a fenced grant so that's not necessarily a massive of calling but might be something that uh, screen members want to look because it is really and all to be spent on, on public health uh, outcomes. I'll, I'll, if I've had time at the end, I'll come back to the, come back to the overall financial uh, picture because Councillor Doughty uh, made that. A lot has been said about outcomes. And again, you know, I, I can't deny from what officers have said about when they put the bids in in, uh, in May, they plan to, in the case of private schools, um, have outputs of 660 as it was, generally classes. Etc. Very, very outcomes of the plan, and there's no question in the case of public schools that that outcome has been knocked into a tax You know, the more there's been so much interest, it's been, if you like, a victim of its own success. It could do so much more. It is impossible, I would put you, to make the argument that a reduction of thirty-five thousand pounds is a good thing. That all of a sudden, yeah, we can just do fifteen uh, children in one class. That's one class of. Yeah, 15 is a good number. Why not have two classes of 15 and then the original outcomes are being met? The, th the 30 that the schools aspire to will be met. We can't do two classes of 15 because there's been a reduction in the funds. It's about not so much the outcomes, but how much better both of these schools uh, can do. And in terms of finances, it's a question of priorities. Is it the priority of the administration? that we have healthy homes? Is it a part of the administration that we put money into educational terms? It is, I'm not making a political point. It is a state of day. It is a state of day with the administration. It's one that I support. But that's not about outcomes. That's about saying, yes, we saw, I think the word guess was used. Uh, well, we have to use the word guess. We guessed how much money would be required. Therefore, we guessed what the outcomes would be. Once it goes out there, once you say to schools, who wants to contribute? The demand is huge, the demand was huge, the demand continues to be huge. If that money was still in the budget, imagine what more we could do for the public schools. The same is true. As I said, I've dealt with the question that this funding, this funding is being fenced. I've dealt with the, the fact that this funding is being fenced and shouldn't form part of uh, well, I will come I will come back to that because I think it is another important point. So as far as healthy homes is concerned. People say, and, and I accept again, that, uh, that the housing standard uh, team is, is resourceful in finding pots of money. But what do you do? You find a pot of money, you make a successful bid, take with one hand, you away with the other. Again, it's wrong to try and paint that as some sort of success. Of course, again, perhaps the parents make the point, we know there must be more houses out there that require intervention. What was happening in the United, which uh, Dave Mitchell referred to, yes, we were knocking on the doors and finding that. We were going to doctor surgeries. More people present at doctor surgeries from some slight standard house than anywhere else. That was what we were on the new That's what I was going would be rolled out. Uh, I haven't got a plot in front of me, so I do want to come back to this point that was made about what about our 57 million for next year. This reduction, as part of the financial monitor, has got nothing to do with building next year's budget. It doesn't form part of the chief executive sales options. If it does, then it should be on the list for consultation. What it forms is part of the stability of this year's budget and the question of the priorities within this year's budget. If this year's budget is unstable, then taking all of this money out it, it, is, is an admission that the budget that was passed last April it is unstable. The full budget is about three million pounds. It's about three million pounds that's been moved about. I try from time to time to present myself as a reasonable person. I have challenged 150,000 dollars. Okay, and even within that, I have accepted so far as the public schools is concerned, that part of the savings will be made on made that okay. Okay. Part of the savings will be administrative in nature. It's the front line that I was interested in. You cannot say that reducing classes to 15 is somehow a success. 
when you put about two classes. You cannot say that the room in London that would have benefited 21 um, um, households in need of repair is somehow a success. It can't be. Yes, these have been successful. Yes, they've met the guesses that were made in April. But just think, how much more can we do? If this cabinet, if this committee says back to the cabinet, we think these are priorities, look again at this very small amount of money that falls within the pay of the public health, the Ringfest Public Health Fund. Thank you very much.
all the time you come up in, I mean, these are important projects and we see how successful they are. But we all know what the bottom line is, is it's central government funding and you see to, you know, go into, you compartmentalise everything all the time and I just get really fed up at times. But I, I really, I think, if, I mean, if, if anything has come out of this uh, meeting tonight, well, it's the fact that the council is working really well with yeah. political circumstances, yeah. and I think that is the main point here. And I think, you know, instead, I think at times, you know, Stuart, that despite, I know he's, a, he's an opposition councillor, but I think, you know, he needs to be a lot <coughs> more positive. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> do you, Chair? He should at least be a lot more positive about the good things that are going on in this council. He starts instead, instead of being totally negative all the time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
interesting debate. I think the thing that's come across to me, what a wonderful provision these two activities provide for the, for the uh, community. I think the officers have done a first class job in getting them working, getting them up and running, and making them work within the budget constraints that they have presented to them. My concern is alongside what Wendy has said, what David has said, if this money is ring fenced, why break what isn't broken? Why not leave it as it is, find some way of continuing to fund these activities within the basis of the uh, ring fencing that's there already and continue to give this, this council the excellent reputation it's got in producing and providing uh, the issue. So my view would be leave it alone, it is ring fenced, don't look about with it, just continue the great work that the officers and all those members who have been involved have done today. Please don't throw the idea out with a blackboard and lose an opportunity to enhance what we've already made a success of. Okay, um, I know that